Hello friends, how are you? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you that how you can fix your iPhone, iPad or iPod if it is stuck at iPhone is disabled screen or if you have forgotten your passcode. So this is the video for you. Let me tell you that whenever we forget our passcode and enter wrong passcodes a lot of times to our iPhone, it will going to stuck on this screen for a limited time. And if we enter the wrong passcodes more than 20 times, so our iOS device will stuck on disabled screen permanently. So in this case, unfortunately, your old data in the iPhone will going to erase. There is no method, no way to get your previous iPhone's data back to your iDevice. But don't worry, I have an alternative way to get your iPhone's data back to you via iCloud Backup or iTunes Backup, which I'll show you in this video. Enough talking, let's start our tutorial to fix this iPhone is disabled screen. So you cannot fix it without computer. You need a computer for that. Let me tell you again that if your iPhone is showing that it is disabled for a few minutes, so you must wait for it. So after waiting few minutes, the disabled screen will disappear on your iPhone. So after that, you will be able to unlock iPhone using the passcode. But if you have forgotten the iPhone passcode and your iPhone is now stuck at disabled screen permanently, so this is the video for you. So to fix your iPhone, all you need to do is to first connect your iPhone with your computer. When you will connect your iPhone, your computer will not detect the iPhone due to the disabled screen. So we need to put our iPhone into the recovery mode first. I'll show you how you can do it. So if you open iTunes on your computer, so your iPhone will not going to show up here. So you need to first put your iPhone into the recovery mode. I'll also show you in this video that how you can fix your iPhone with iTunes and without iTunes. Just simply go ahead to the Google first, search here for Tenorshare for you key. Open the first link. You'll also find the direct link in the description of this video. So here we have the software we're gonna use to fix our disabled iPhone. This will also help us to put our phone into the recovery mode. Plus, we can unlock the disabled iPhone as well. And it fixes all type of stuck issues also. If you have forgotten your iOS device passcode, so this software will fix your problem and it can also unlock the Apple ID. But the Apple ID unlock feature is only available for iOS 11 and earlier. Anyways, so let's download and install the Tenorshare for you key in our computer. It is available for Windows and Mac as well. Let's download the Windows version because I'm using the Windows right now. So guys, watch this full video. Don't miss any step. Don't worry, it's easy. All right, the Tenorshare for you key has installed. Let's open it. So here we have the two options. We're gonna select the unlock lock screen passcode because this is a problem we are having with our iPhone right now. All right, now tap on the start button. So here we have the method to put the iPhone into the recovery mode. So now select your iPhone from here. If you have iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, so follow this method. It's just a volume and home button trick to put our iPhone into the recovery mode. If you have iPhone 8 or newer devices, you can follow this method. If you have iPhone 11, iPhone XS, XR, iPhone X, so you can follow this one. But right now, I have iPhone 6S. So I'm gonna go into the other phones and we'll follow this method to put the iPhone into the recovery mode. So keep connected your iPhone to the computer and follow the steps shown on your computer carefully. It's just a volume and home button tricks. You may fail doing this for the first time, so you must try it again and again until your iPhone shows this recovery mode screen. When you put your iPhone into the recovery mode, the phone will be detected by the computer. So now it is showing up this screen. Now, it is asking us to download the iOS firmware version before fixing the iPhone. Before going ahead, let me show you that this Tenorshare 4U key is not free. 
we need to first purchase it. If you're looking for a free method, you can always use iTunes. Just go ahead to the iTunes. Oh, let's uh, just close it. So you will see here two buttons, update and restore. So obviously you need to press the restore button on the iTunes in order to fix the iPhone. So just tap on the restore iPhone button and again tap on the restore and update button here. Tap on next and agree. So after that, the iTunes will going to download the firmware file of an iPhone. This may take time because it's about 3 GB file. So it may take time depends on your internet speed. So after it completes, your iPhone will going to restore automatically. But if you are having any error while restoring your iPhone using the iTunes or the iTunes method is not working for you, so you can always use the Tenorshare for your key. It's a very nice tool to fix our iPhone. It can also fix all other kind of stuck issues without data loss. You may lose your data uh, with iTunes, but the Tenorshare for your key can fix other stuck issues without data loss. Alright, let's go ahead and press the download button to start downloading the firmware file in Tenorshare for you key. It may take time, so keep your device connected with the computer and wait for the download to complete. After that, it will going to start restoring the iPhone and will remove your passcode from your iOS device. As you can see on my iPhone, it is showing up the Apple logo screen with the loading bar. So it takes 3 to 5 minutes to complete the restoring process. If you are having any kind of error while restoring your iPhone, so change your USB data cable or change the USB port or restart your computer or you can also charge your iPhone a little to fix the issue. Don't disconnect your device, otherwise it will going to stuck at recovery mode forever. So you will need to start the restoring process all over again. So as you can see, the passcode has removed successfully and the phone comes to hello screen. Now you need to set up your iPhone. Don't miss any step from here because this is important step to get our previous data back to iPhone. Now select your language, country, Wi-Fi. It may ask you for your iCloud ID. So uh, you need to put your previous Apple ID uh, that you were using in this iPhone to go further. All right. So on data and privacy page, tap on continue. Now you can set your own passcode to the iPhone. I'm going to set it later. So this is the main thing. Watch and listen carefully. From here, now you can get all of your previous applications and data back to your iPhone easily. So here we have four options to retrieve our phone's data. So uh, you can restore from iCloud backup to get the previous data. You can restore from Mac or PC. You can transfer directly uh, the data from any other iPhone to this iPhone. Or you can also have an option to transfer the data from any Android device to this iPhone. So, if you have created any backup on iTunes, so you can easily restore it by connecting your iPhone to the computer and on iTunes, it will going to appear a restore backup button. But if you don't have any backup saved in the iTunes, so the one only way to retrieve the old data is from the iCloud backup. If your iPhone was running iCloud account, so iCloud automatically creates our iPhone backup. So there are 50-50 chances that you can retrieve your previous iPhone's data back to you via iCloud. So just insert your iCloud Apple ID here. It may ask you for the two-factor authentication if you have turned on it. Insert your passcode and now tap on the agree. It may take time to load the settings. So as you can see, it's asking me to choose the backup, but I have never created any backup of this iPhone in my iCloud. So that's why it's showing no backups available. But you'll see all the created backup of your previous iPhone's data here. So all you need is to select the backup and your all the previous data will get back to you. 
but right now it's not showing up any backup for me so i'm gonna tap on the setup as a new iphone now let's tap on forgot apple id let's tap on setup later apple id uh, don't use uh, now continue install updates uh, manually and let's tap on the not now set up later again set up later and uh, let's not share the information to apple and let's select the theme continue again continue and get started so guys i am now on my home screen so this is how you can fix your iphone i hope you like this video so don't you forget to hit the like button comment the video and subscribe my youtube channel do also support me at patreon so it will help me to make more amazing content for you see you later in the next video Peace.